So in this case, we are given uh, a list of uh, voltage phasor diagram, which is actually showing the values of a phasor diagram, the voltages and the current, which are taken from a series RLC circuit. Here's the following values. So this is what we are given voltage across the inductor, the capacitor, remember, this is an RLC circuit where we do understand we are going to be having a resistor. Uh, we're gonna have an inductor and we are going to have a capacitor connected to an AC a voltage. That's the condition of our RLC. So from these voltages, currents, whatever that we are given, we are now asked to draw the phasor diagram of this information. All right, uh, if you are to consider your phasor diagrams, we had this in our calculations. You were the one who was to calculate all these in order for you to present a phasor diagram, if you still remember. You were the one who was to calculate all these. Now they gave you, is just a presentation. Just a presentation, everything is direct there. All right, so let us take a uh, presentation. So that is uh, one point, uh, so it's gonna be, it was 1.3. All right, so let us just have it here. So for the phasor diagram, uh, everything is already presented there. Everything was already calculated uh, for us. So what we are just gonna need, uh, remember talking of the reference, so I'm just gonna take this at a reference at uh, zero degrees and uh, also have a vertical line like this. Remember, uh, we will be at zero degrees at this point. As we are going in the anticlockwise, we are moving in the positive to the positive. As we are moving, going the clockwise direction, we will be talking of the negative angles. So meaning to say at this point, as we are moving this side, we are at positive 90 degrees here, 180 and so on. Going this side, we will be at minus 90 degrees and so on. So there we are given another thing that is important for us to consider. All right, let's start with the VT, which is always in, uh, in phase with what? At zero degrees. This one, it's at what? At zero degrees, 100 at an angle of zero. Zero is the one that we are seeing here. So this one is just gonna be direct along this line. Direct along this line at what? At zero degrees. All right, so there's no adjustment there uh, to be taken for our VT. Uh, there's nothing much uh, that we're gonna talk of. It was 100 uh, at an angle of zero degrees. All right, let's move on to these two voltages that are very, very important the voltage across the capacitor and that of the inductor. Whether this is presented from a purely capacitive and a purely inductive, you are going to see that these two, they are always in a straight line. Whether you are having your VL, whatever that you're going to have, this will be part of your VC on the other hand. This will be at 90 degrees, it will be at minus 90 degrees. If you add these two, you must get 90, or you must get uh, 180. That is 90 plus 90. Just ignore the negative there, add the angle. So I said, even if it is like this, they are supposed to be in a straight line. Whatever presentation, they are supposed to be in a straight line. The two angles are supposed to form 180 degrees. The angle for an inductor and for that of a capacitor. Meaning to say, in this case, if we were to consider, uh, let's see where our VL is. Now consider our VL and our VC. Our VL is at 38.32, and this is negative. If you add these angles, they must give you exactly one H. So this is what I'm trying to say, guys. All right, so this is it. Always you must have this. If it is not giving you this, then that question is wrongly presented or you calculated wrongly your values. So if you add 
comma six eight. So this will give you one hundred eighty. Uh, my calculator is fixed to three decimal places. That's one eighty comma zero, but it's one eighty there. All right. This is to show you that they are in a straight line. All right. So meaning to say, in this case, thirty eight comma two. Uh, you, you can just work with one because they form a straight line. So if you know that thirty eight comma two is maybe somewhere there. The straight line of 38,2 is the same straight line that is going to VC. So do not worry about that presentation. Just focus on one side. You just focus on one side. So if you are focusing with this side, uh, let us just say because it's going to the, remember it's going to the positive. And like I said, positive, that is anticlockwise. So maybe 38,2 is somewhere there. Just an assumption. All right, this is not exact, it's just an assumption to say maybe we are going to obtain our 38, our angle, this one of uh, 38, comma 32 along this side, just be, just before what? Before 90, it's not supposed to exceed 90. So let, let's say this is our 38, comma 32 degrees. So meaning to say we are talking of what? The VL, remember, is the one in the positive. So that's our VL, which is 242,5 at an angle of uh, 38,32 degrees. All right. Opposed, on the other hand, with the VC, they will be in a straight line. So do not worry whether you know how to present this negative. Just focus with the one that you know. You know that they are in a straight line, these two. So as we are having our VL, we are also okay. having our VC on the other hand. So our VC is at what? Uh, that's 164 at an angle of minus 141 comma 68 degrees. It means the angle that we are taking from the positive, from this zero, this one, going this side, from this horizontal axis, going to this part, up to this line, the angle here that we are forming is 141 comma 68 in between these two points. That is what it means. We are done. You move on to another one. Always, these two again, they have a relationship. The current, which is our total current, and our VR. We must know that these two are in phase. Same angle that you're going to have. They will be at the same angle in phase. So minus 51, uh, it means we are going in the clockwise direction this side. Just, just below this minus 90. So you can just assume uh, to say our oh, 51 comma, it's going to be somewhere there, uh, something like that. So that's the angle from this point, from this horizontal line to this line that we have. There is a difference there of what? 51 comma 68. There's a difference of 51 comma 68 degrees. Going to where? to VR and IT. So there is a current there, IT, the total current, which is at what? 5,15 at an angle of uh, negative 51.68 degrees. There's also a voltage there, VR. They are in same angle, guys. They're in the same line, only different values. So there's VR there, which is uh, 61. Comma eight at an angle of fifty one comma six eight degrees. This is our voltage. That is the idea there that we are going to have uh, throughout. So you must be very very careful of this, and also the angle between the voltage and the current is going to be at ninety degrees. This one, it will be at. 90 degrees these two angles will be at 90 degrees so uh, this one is just for the matter of your revision to understand but there's nothing there guys as you can see it's just presenting guys the angles are already there which direction are you taking everything is already there which direction are you taking that is the only thing all right 1.32 you are now given uh calculate a this the reactance of the coil the 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 reactance of the capacitor, this and that. So there we just need the reactance is not, not the value of the coil, like the, the inductance, no, but the reactance of the coil. Why are they asking us this? Why at least we have got a phasor diagram? Because we are told, and we know that this is a series. 
Remember, this is a series. So you can calculate your reactions. Why? Because the current is the same. So across the inductor, there is a voltage there, there is a voltage there, there is a voltage there. And the current is there, the total current. So means we can simply use the relationship voltage and current can give us what? The reactants. Voltage and current can give us the reactants. So I'm just going to calculate this on top so that we use these values where we can see it, 1.32. All right, so that's 1.32 uh, A. So the first one is for the reactants of the coil, which is the, the part of what? The inductor. So the reactance of the coil XL is going to be the voltage across the inductor over the current because the current is the same, which is the voltage across. We have it. That's 242.5 uh, at an angle of what? 38.32 degrees. We divide total current. Remember our total current that is uh, 5.15. 5,15 at an angle of what? Negative 51,68 degrees. So that was going to give us XL. There we ask XL as it is. As it is. Which is represented like our ZL. That's our XL. So you can simply divide 242,5 uh, divided to 5,15. Uh, that was going to give us 47. Uh, comma zero eight seven. Then the angles you just have to subtract. So this one, because definitely as we saw that it was a resistor, an inductor. So uh, the, the inductor is purely inductive there. So this was is supposed to give you ninety degrees if you if you combine. If you do not obtain ninety degrees, then that is wrong. So this we're gonna be thirty eight comma three two degrees minus minus fifty one point six. Remember in polar form. You subtract the angles. You subtract the angles that you are given. And that was going to be exactly uh, 90 degrees. So that is a positive 90 degrees. Remember XL, positive 90 degrees. So we have got our reactance there. Just like that. We can do that for the capacitor, the reactance of the capacitor, because we have got, VC and the total current. All right. We have got everything there. So this is our A. Then we move on to our B. So in this case, all right, it's not going to erase this. Our B, uh, the one for the capacitor, the voltage across the capacitor over the total current. Remember, we are in series. So what is the voltage across the capacitor? We have it. VC uh, 164 at an angle of negative 141.68, negative 141.68, divided with the total current. We have the total current, which is 5,15 at an angle of what? Negative 51,68 degrees. So that's it. We are going to obtain our XC. So in each and every simplification, be very, very careful. So this was going to be 31.845. Then the angle, you subtract again, this one, minus, minus. So it's minus, minus, minus 141,68 minus. What are we subtracting? Minus 51.68. So it's minus, minus, which is going to be a positive. And, um, from our simplification, we can actually see that this is uh, a purely capacitive part. So it's supposed to be exactly negative 90 degrees. If you do not obtain exactly negative 90 degrees, that means it is wrong because that will be representing the part, the part of a capacitor only, an inductor only, positive 90 degrees. Where there's a resistor, zero degrees. Meaning to say, if you calculate the value of the resistor, then you obtain an angle of 20. It's, al it's actually wrong. It will be actually wrong. So for the value of the resistor on C, same concept, the voltage over the total current. 
at the voltage across the resistor, which is our VR. We have this 61.8, and what is the angle? Negative 51.68. Divided to what? Current, total current, which was 5.15, at an angle of what? Minus 51.68 degrees. So that will give us the resistance. We divide the angle, the numbers on their own. Remember your polar form, that was going to be 12, comma, 0, 0, at an angle of, you subtract these two, that is minus 51.68, minus minus 51.68, definitely it was going to be a plus, and thus it gives us a zero at the end. And like I said, if you do not obtain a zero here on a purely resistive, that means your answer is wrong. On a purely inductive, you do not obtain a positive 90. Your answer is wrong. On a purely capacitive, you do not obtain minus 90. Your answer is wrong. These are things that you need to understand from your, from your N4. We talked about these properties. It helps you to whenever you're in exam because you've got no one to mark your work. It is you who is marking your work. So also as you are calculating, you say, okay, no, this, this cannot exist. This, this does not exist. At least you can do something from there. So these are your typical questions, guys. As we can see, all we just need is to revise as much questions as we can uh, working with the AC and uh, other topics so that you prepare yourselves uh, for the exams that are ahead of time. But for now, that's it. Till we meet again.